In this video, let's see a numerical problem based on the concept of inverse of a matrix. We already know what is inverse and we have seen in the previous videos what do you mean by inverse and adjoint. In this video, we have a question. Let's see what the question has to say and let's get started with the solution. The question is if A is a given matrix, you have to show that A inverse is equal to 1 by 19A and you can see that this question has been asked in the CBSE exam of class 1991 year for class plus 2. Now when A inverse needs to be shown equal to something, first you need to find A inverse and you know for any given matrix finding inverse is possible after checking a condition. You need to check the condition that what is debt A, what is determinant of A. Because determinant of A can get two values. Either it can be equal to 0 or it can be not equal to 0. If it is equal to 0, the matrix is a singular matrix and the determinant value 0 means inverse does not exist. You cannot find the inverse. That happens when the value is equal to 0. But what if the value is not equal to 0? If not equal to 0, you have to follow certain steps. Firstly, yes, finding the inverse is possible. I say that my inverse value exists. And the first step is to find out the adjoint matrix. After finding the adjoint, I know that I have a formula. The formula for inverse is what? A inverse is equal to adjoint A upon determinant of A and when we know this formula we can easily find out the inverse. So that is what we are going to do. We are going to check the determinant value. If it is 0, we will stop the question there and then. If it is not equal to 0, yes, we will find out the formula. By that we are going to see the answer. So let us see the determinant value. Now del A means the determinant of A. And it is possible for a 2 by 2 matrix to cross multiply and then find out the determinant. So when you cross multiply 2 into 2 is 4 and minus sign is there so it is minus 4. Going bottom to up you have 5 threesa is 15 and bottom to up makes one more negative come into picture so it is minus 15 hence it is minus 19. Now minus 19 is not equal to 0 in any circumstance. So I say that yes, it is not equal to 0 and for not equal to 0, my inverse will exist. I cannot stop the question there and then. But yes, I can move to the other step. And that other step is finding the adjoint. Now how to find out the adjoint? For adjoint, you need to first find out the cofactors of the matrix. Now how to find out the cofactors? I know that cofactors can be listed as C11, C12, C21 and C22. C11 means cofactor of the first row first column element. First row first column is 2. Finding the cofactor means ignoring the first row, ignoring the first column, you have minus 2. Next, C12, first row second column. So it is first row second column, we are left with 5. And I know that 1 plus 2 is what? It is 3 which is a negative placing sign since it is an odd number so I have negative 5. Next move on to C21. C21 means second row first column element. Ignore what? Ignore this second row. Ignore this first column you have 3 and that 3 will again be negative because 2 plus 1 is 3 which is an odd number. Next last but not the least is the turn of C22 which is the cornermost element minus 2. Ignore the second row, ignore the second column, you have plus 2 and only plus 2 because 2 plus 2 is 4 which is even number. So basically you have all the cofactors listed in the form of a cofactor matrix and that cofactor matrix is minus 2, minus 5, 2 here and minus 3. So it is minus 3 and 2. So these are the cofactors. But cofactor finding is not the end of the story. You actually need to find out the adjoint. How to find out the adjoint? The adjoint matrix is equal to the cofactors transpose. Right? 
this we already know we already know that this formula will come into picture only when you find out the adjoint now cofactor matrix transpose means transpose of this matrix this matrix has minus 2 minus 3 as the first column let's make it the first row this matrix has minus 5 minus 2 as the second column let's make it the second row we got the adjoint matrix when we got the adjoint matrix I know that my formula says adjoint upon determinant so simply A inverse is equal to this adjoint upon the determinant and where is the determinant it is minus 19 so the answer is minus 1 by 19 multiplied by this whole value but a inverse finding is not again the end of the story because we need to prove A inverse is equal to 1 by 19A. If we need to prove it equal to 1 by 19, this minus sign can go inside. It goes inside so it becomes 1 by 19. Inside is 2, 3, 5, minus 2. Outside is A inverse only. Now, A inverse is equal to 1 by 19 multiplied by 2, 3, 5, minus 2. What is 2, 3, 5, minus 2? 2, 3, 5, minus 2 is nothing but the given matrix A. So you can substitute. So definitely you got the answer that A inverse is equal to 1 by 19 of the given matrix A. And that is what we needed to prove. See, it showed that A inverse is equal to 1 by 19 A. That is what we needed to prove. And hence, we have proved this question based on the inverse of a matrix.